Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Glad to be back with you after a major ice storm here in Central Virginia and uh, just glad to have my power and my heat back on. Also, I get to talk to you today about the logging synchronous command, one of four commands that I put on every router or switch in a lab environment and I've got a separate video for each one of those on my YouTube channel so be sure to check those other three out when you're done here with the logging synchronous command. Nothing complicated here with logging synchronous easy exam points and of course those are the best kind but it does change an annoying default on a Cisco router or switch and especially as you're moving around your different devices and that's true of exec timeout 00 which is the next command of the series but right now let's look at logging synchronous and first look at that annoying default that I was mentioning and what I'm going to do is just do a conf t here get into global configuration mode and I'm going to now do a control Z, so I go back to enable mode, and it's gonna generate a little message that some of you may have seen millions of times. But uh, in case you've never seen it, you'll see it here, and you'll also see by default that it's going to interrupt my work because what I'm going to do is start entering something as soon as I go back to that config mode. Yeah, that's, what, that's the default behavior. That's exactly what happens. I did a control Z, which is gonna generate this little syslog message, five configured, configure from console by console, just in case you were confused about where you were. So, you know, what's the big deal here? Like I said, it's more of an annoyance than anything else because by default, the device is gonna tell you right now and what it's gonna do is it's interrupting your work. So you start typing and then I start typing <laughs> and you get to and then I, and then everything else you enter ends up at the end of this console message. Now again, major deal, no. But it, it does get annoying after a while, and especially when you're practicing some new commands and say maybe an extended access list, and if you haven't written one of those yet, they can literally you know, start hanging off the edge of the screen. They're very long commands, and you could suddenly get a console message and it just interrupts your work. So what we wanna do is fix that, and it's an easy fix. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter there, and of course get invalid input, because configured from console by console start typing is not a legal iOS command. So let's go our conf t and I'm going to go to the console line because that's where I'm connected to this particular router and the command I'm going to use naturally is logging synchronous. There are a couple of options here, level and limit. I could count on probably one finger, much less one hand, the number of times I've actually used those particular options. So we're going to leave those out. I don't put them on the lab equipment. And this is the command logging synchronous I expect you to see on your CCNA exam and not the options. So we will just go with that and I'll just enter it there. And now I'm gonna do a control Z again and then start typing again and you'll see the difference. Yeah, see that's a lot better. Uh, you still get the console message because we don't wanna discount those. This one, not particularly important, but it could be you know, a notification of an important network event so you wanna see it. But at the same time, it'd really be nice to just go ahead and finish your line while you're at it. So you'll notice that time it just, it gave me the message and then it dropped me back at the enable prompt at the exact same point where I was when I was interrupted. So that is a pretty helpful little command. Sorry about all the space there. But uh, again, logging synchronous, very straightforward command, but I put it on all my lab equipment. I suggest you do the same, any simulators you're using as well, because it really is quite handy. That is it for this particular command reference. Like I said, I've got one for no IP domain lookup and the service timestamps command up now. Exec timeout comes after that, and then we've got over 100 commands we're going to be covering with a series on my YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe while you're out here. And again, as always, thanks for making my work part of your success story.